dear sister yeah yours truly and um this is the ride along show which we'll be riding with our first guest on the show ever like we told you the last time and um i'm here to pick her up and uh in a bit you'll be getting to meet her and we'll be talking about some very interesting stuff you're gonna enjoy this ride along uh, meanwhile don't forget to subscribe like share and comment Yes, 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 ride along show, and um, she's the guest uh, on the ride along show. Yes, truly. Yagi the bug Yes. <laughs> boy, cancel that name, okay. boy. Cancel. <laughs> cancel. So, anyway, um, you guys, mm -hmm. in case you don't know the face, my name is Jetson Bo. Mm -hmm. I am the CEO of ICE. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ICE, ICE, what? ICE, um, ICE Lounge, mm -hmm. um, ICE Gang. Um, Ice Beauty Bar, you know, it's all under one roof, and I am here today with Sister Jack doing the ride along show. Yep, so let's take a ride with the boss lady mm -hmm. and check out some of um, her establishments, and um, we'll be talking about interesting stuff too. Yes, all right, let's do this. So, um, yeah, get it back, back. Tell us about this ice thing, why ice, and how did ice came about? Um Okay, it's funny answering this question to you because you know, <laughs> because you know, but just for the people say, mm -hmm. um, ICE was established in her office, <laughs> um, back when we were doing the ICE Out concert, mm -hmm. and uh, we had this concert idea, you know, we wanted to do something very amazing and everything, you know, and then we were talking to her, as we always, any event that we have, we always run to her, mm -hmm. you know, because she does the, you know, all the paperwork, she's the smart one. Yeah. Oh, 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 I'm blushing. 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 I'm And all the professional stuff. Okay. So um, we were at the office, and then she was like, Concert, we're not going to go to that. And then we were like, huh? And then we looked at ourselves. Back then, um, the guy that I was with, you know, we always wear all these shiny, shiny things. And I see eyes out. Ice out, all bling out, the drip is always on fire. Mm -hmm. You know, so. And, you know, he said, how about eyes? And I was like, yes, that's a good idea because a lot of people are going to relate to it. And everybody, all the millennials, all the youngins, everybody's rocking eyes, you know, mm. the, you know, the hands, the neck, everything, you know. So we, we, we call it the eyes out concert. And that's how eyes <clears throat> gang came about, mm -hmm. you know, and then we registered it. And then, you know, none of that. Now it's a company. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, um. I started with an event and then um, yes it started with one event and now it's you know it has all these babies mm -hmm. it has a club it has a salon it has you know an event organization movement I mm -hmm. I pronounce it I'm a better word event organization promotion move how much money have not like but just know there's ice gang ice lounge it's ice entertainment well, it's entertainment yeah entertainment I don't even know I'm not an entertainment bank, bro, but the That's beauty bank part. Confused. That's what I can't But let's just say, just leave it open. Because yeah, but I think it can grow bigger. You can have other No, babies. ICE is registered as a company now. Let me mm. announce to every, um, all of you. It's ICE Company Limited. You know, mm -hmm. so now um, the, the beauty bar, the club, and, 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 you know, the entertainment is all under, you know, under nice. yes, nice. it's all under one roof. Yeah. Nice, nice. And should ask my lawyer. That's good. That was good. Yeah. So, I got one guy, and he I'm lawyer and everything. No, my lawyer parties with me. Me, you know, it was so loud, it was smart, and he, that was his idea. You know what? How about you do everything under one roof? You know, and and that was his idea. So, mm -hmm. thank you so much. Okay, that, that's a good look. That's a good look. Yeah. It's good to know that um, um companies like this, businesses like this, because usually, uh, people feel that oh okay, yeah, then they just joke to the tour, they have a flyer, and that's it. Oh but no no no. Yo, you were showing them your business is a company registered yes, and everything it is registered lawyer. we pay our taxes and we have our lawyers we you know our legal stuff and everything so jadumo is a complete um boss lady complete entrepreneur, entrepreneur. <laughs> oh, that's the right word yes hello mama <laughs> anyway uh let's let's see one of your establishments um okay. i've been at the opening um of the ice beauty bar yes by the way you better than different bala Oh yeah, ice beauty bar. and I got that a lot. Ice beauty bar. Why do you call it ice beauty bar? It, mm. I mean, it's a beauty bar because we do everything. You know, mm. if it's a if it's a hair salon, I mean, we'd only do hair. You mm. know, but it's a beauty bar. We do hair, we do makeup, we do you know pedicure, manicure, you know, mm. all of that stuff. You mm. know, so it's a beauty bar. 
Ice Beauty Bar. Here yeah. we come. All right, so we're here at Ice Beauty Bar. Um, guys, I'm not going to be jealous. Why do you guys? Wow, this is the beautiful place. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, yeah, as you can see inside from out here, you know, we have all the things going on. Mm-hmm. We have the steamer over there, you know, mm-hmm. we have the uh, pedicure table over there, mm-hmm. you know. And yeah, we open um, every day from Monday to, I mean, from Tuesday to Sunday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you we do manicure, lit- pedicure? Yes, and you know, we, we have a barber, um, have a barber stand, we do manicure, pedicure, we do haircuts. And you know, the, the, the lit haircuts that I'll be doing, mm-hmm. yes, we do that too, mm-hmm. you know. I'm gonna advertise. <laughs> but yeah, so why did you choose to do a beauty bar instead of other businesses? I mean, um, I love money, mm-hmm. but um, I also like doing things that I am passionate about. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have been a tomboy for a very long time, but I like looking good, mm-hmm. you know. And um, I do haircuts like the boy haircuts, I do the female cut and curl haircuts, Mm -hmm. you know, I do all of that, you know, Mm -hmm. so um, these are things that I like, and every every week I am spending money Mm -hmm. in these, you know, other salons, trying to look good, trying to feel good and stuff like that, so I'm I'm thinking, um, if I own a lounge Mm -hmm. that at night people need to look good Mm -hmm. to be there, how about I own a beauty bar where people can come there, look good, and then come to my club? Okay, now I see the connection. Exactly. Now I see the connection. Yes. Wow. It's all connected. So it means we're looking forward to some medium, multimedia stuff next. Yeah, actually, I, that's something I want to do. I, you know, that is something I really, really want to do because uh-huh. media, media built me up. You know, so I, I might do some multimedia thing. You know, if the money is there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gonna come. You're the boss. You, you, you are one of Gambia's youngest millionaire. Come I on. mean, I mean, I mean, come I mean. On, come <laughs> on. I just have one time in your mind, Alisa. But then you embrace. <laughs> yes, you know, I'm claiming it. You remember when you interviewed me on the 25 questions? Yes. They were like whether um uh naga whether I'm a I'm a millionaire or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like I didn't I didn't check my account <laughs> yet this day. <laughs> but yeah, let's just embrace it. I mean, I mean, yeah, let you. Mm-hmm. But uh, yo, but yeah, um, you know, I want to do other businesses outside of the, you know, outside of the um. Of the party entertainment mm-hmm. as well. I'm thinking food because I love food a lot. Okay. You know. Um, but ice. Yeah. I, I don't know what it's gonna be called, but ice roasted. Okay. I, I don't know what it's gonna be called. I'm I thinking know. food. I don't know if it's gonna be a restaurant. I don't know if it's gonna be a supermarket. I don't know, but I'm thinking food. And also, if Corona had taught me anything, mm-hmm. is that food is the business to get into. Yep. Because I mean, everywhere was shut down. We were losing our mind. The restaurants yep. were open. That was the <laughs> only thing working. I saw it. Only thing working. So it taught me that. My next big investment is definitely going to be food, yes. So talking about Corona, how has it affected your business? I mean, it killed us basically. We were open, let's say eyes. Mm-hmm. Um, we opened eyes in December, mm-hmm. December 6th, right? Mm-hmm. So January, February, March, everyone were, everywhere was shut down. So mm-hmm. we worked for only three months. Mm-hmm. So we were shut down for seven months. Ooh. And then we opened in October. Mm-hmm. And now we're here, the year is it's December. We, we yeah, are dead, basically. You know, true. it's it's really really crazy. But um, Alhamdulillah, we survived. You mm-hmm. know, we we're, we're still up and standing. We're running. We celebrated our one year. You know, we're still doing great things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Corona's done its bit, and um, we're hoping everything's gonna change yeah. uh, very soon. Yeah. Um, what else do you have in mind? Because um, we know Corona is a business. But then, you know, knowing you. People are always like, boy, just do they give up? No. If I do get silly, them silly. If I do get silly, them silly. I don't know how to. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, his, with, with the night um, nightlife, mm-hmm. entertainment business, you know, mm-hmm. you just have to be constantly creative, constantly creating new things, constantly, mm-hmm. you know, um, yeah, bringing, constantly bringing in new ideas, you mm-hmm. know. So, um, I think as, you know, the season opens and, uh, you know, December is here now, the party is mm-hmm. about to start, we'll just see how we can... You know, change things, spice things up a little bit, make people come out more. Mm-hmm. You know, and um, and see what to come up with next. Next, okay. Yes. Wale, well, hey, let's talk about the the crazy bit of Jatumbo because <laughs> um, you being a club owner, yeah, um, started from somewhere. Yeah, yes. and you don't manage club and all. Yeah. But we're story, we like Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that Jatumbo now I'm one of her crazy moments. See. Whilst at work, maybe managing or something. No, I do, I do, really, mm-hmm. because and it's almost all the time, mm-hmm. you know. Because here's the thing, um, 
I am a nice person. I'm really nice to mm -hmm. people. But then I have my limits to where I can be nice. Mm -hmm. If I'm nice to you, you come to my establishment and I'm trying to explain that I'm sorry, this and this is not allowed. Mm -hmm. And then young man to oh, you want to be violent? Let's get it. So, you're going to fight again. Just laugh all of you. So, you're going to pull them hand to hand again. No, I mean, at some point, I'm going to do this, sister. Mm -hmm. At some point, because, you know, mm -hmm. you're giving these people the respect that, hey, listen, mm -hmm. you know, you're at my establishment. I appreciate you supporting and everything. But mm -hmm. if this is not allowed, let's have that mutual respect. Right. But then, today, I'm going to disrespect my gang. You're getting physical. Mm -hmm. Let's throw these hands, boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You deal with every kind of person. I deal with everybody. Um, uh, the kind of people that come no, I mean, around. <laughs> here's the thing with those kind of people, you're the right? Mm -hmm. Um, man, I, I know these people and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm with them almost every day. Mm -hmm. And these people, when they get hyper or to a certain level, mm -hmm. they just, they're just overflowing with love. <laughs> that's, that's just how I'll put it, you know? Mm -hmm. Because on a regular day, like when they're okay, when they're sober, they'll be like, oh, hey, the two Hanakami Aiku, but enough love, sis, Nick, you know, you feel and take on the But when they're up there, they're like, boy, that we love you, boy. <laughs> and I'm like, I love you too. And, boy, and they will say this 10 times. Mm -hmm. and I know these people. So, <laughs> so I'm going to do it because you know, it's my guy. I'm going to do it. So, yeah. So it's like a family thing. Yeah, man. Uh, this way, yo, I'm, I'm telling you, the, there's this guy that mm -hmm. will come to the club and be like, Jatu la mota nyo wago loa job, dina la la bad si club. And this is my customer, you know. Okay. <laughs> so, mom, like, I'm going to go all the time. Wow, I'm going to go all the time. I'm going to go all the time. I'm going to go all the time. It's just nice, me and these people, you know, like, you see us, I'm blending with them. Sometimes I'm dancing with them with my, you know, stiff moves. <laughs> We will talk about the stage move. <laughs> but right now, we're here at ICE. Yes. Let's take it all. Let's take it all. having us at ICE and uh, you guys that don't know ICE and uh, have never seen ICE, known la ICE Mel, check it out uh, any day apart from Monday, go party, have fun and um, Jatu is a nice host. I am, I really am. Jatu is a nice host, you're gonna love it. And sometimes in the December when the party is so late we open up Mondays, sometimes. Oh really? <laughs> yeah we do. That's nice. You know, it depends on the, you know, and sometimes um, the event organizers, mm -hmm. um, when there are no dates and the schedule is tight, they usually do events on Monday. So sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes mm -hmm. it will be open on Monday. But just know that you can, you know, you can party with us anytime. Mm -hmm. And I'll be so happy to host you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can come doll up at the salon. You know, if you're a guy, come be fresh, you know, at the beauty bar as well. And if we have events, pull up. Pull up, we love it. Anyway, um, thank you so much, mm -hmm. um, to all of you, uh, for celebrating, you know, the one year anniversary of ICE. So yeah, yeah. um, we all know that you the digger on the time happened. Well, that's what a lot of people think. Anyway, <laughs> what was your fondest memory as a child? I wasn't entirely digger on the time. You know, I was um, as a child, I was all speaking. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, we had a library. Of books that I read, all of the books, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, I used to play soccer. Mm -hmm. I used to love the hunting, mm -hmm. you know. Um, basically, um, I had a great childhood because you know, for time you do. All of you know, play hunting, you know, let's say, you know, you know, you play. You know, you know, my boys play football in front line. We front line, we could take a shot. You know, we did all of that, you know. But then I was all speaking, you know. But um. I think one of my fondest memories as a child was when I used to play soccer because I really used to enjoy that. Mm -hmm. You know, I and when when different uh, position I play striker. Yeah, I got I'm not gonna hold on, boy. I was bad. I was bad from day. But yeah, you know, mm -hmm. now I cannot do anything with a ball apart from you know maybe shoot it 
I was <laughs> possibly gonna laugh myself. Mm -hmm. But then you know that that was one of um one of my greatest memories. Mm -hmm. You know, and also I started journalism when I was really really young. That too because. You know, so you know, we started sport journalism when we were like 13, 14, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's when we were on the spotlight, you know, we were hosting shows, mm -hmm. we were covering events, you know, and doing stuff. You know, so yeah, those those were precious moments. Oh. Yeah. Childhood memories. I know. Lit. Anyways, um, a quick shout out to uh, Moribo Global um, for all your electronics needs, um, accessories, um, phone covers, um, mounts, uh, phone holders, chargers, APs, the list goes on. Check them out. Um, that's the name, um, Moribo Global, and that's the logo. Check them out. They're on Instagram. You can see the social media links. Okay, that's not coming out clear. But is yes, it that's clear. <laughs> okay. Modibo Global on Instagram and Facebook. And um, check them out, make your orders, and uh, they'll get it to you. Also, special shout outs to um, Global Properties for making this happen, um, holding us down. And um, we're riding along because of Global Properties. Anyway, let's, ju let's just say that. So, shout out to Global to Properties. You. When are you getting your house from Global? I don't know, but I'm on. <laughs> you Come can on. live house. Come uh, on, you are one of our youngest millionaires. I mean, I mean, I mean. Anyway, so <laughs> can we talk about a free house? I'll advertise for you for a whole year. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, now that's a good deal. Yeah, whole year. Uh, whole year I'll be advertising anyhow. You know me, my social media is lit. Mm. You know, so this is shameless plug right now. Plug it <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So, Global Properties is the plug for all your houses, apartments, sea view. They have these um, apartments coming up, the Kololi Sands, the um, Aqua View. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. And can we just talk about how Global Properties just support Gambians that are, you know, doing something mm -hmm. in life, in mm -hmm. general? I mean, this is not an advert for you giving no shout out. I'm just saying, I just mm -hmm. appreciate you guys supporting any Gambian you guys see doing something and they knock Absolutely. on your doors, you always open your doors. So, sh kudos to you. Yeah. All the companies should be like you. Shout out to Global, shout out, Global shout out, Properties. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so mm -hmm. end of October, mm -hmm. it was crazy. Mm -hmm. Reason being, sister, mm -hmm. me, I like to walk. I take pride in working a lot, you mm -hmm. know? And um, I love my family, you know, I'm very family oriented. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love people that are not even my family, but then, you know, they're close to me and stuff like that. I treat them like family. Mm -hmm. So if you're messing with two of these things, mm -hmm. this is my money and my family, mm -hmm. you're getting me and you're unleashing the kind of side of me because I will eat you, mm -hmm. you know? So, asking, asking. I was in, 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 this person or group of people, mm -hmm. you know, were mess, trying to mess with my money. Mm -hmm. They're trying to mess with my business and they were also trying to mess with my family. You know, because if you're going to, you know, the Marabus and bringing Safara and that uh, at my workplace, at my home, mm -hmm. then I can be quiet. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I have, I'm going to have to look for you and somehow try to see what to do with you because, you know, at this point it's not safe you know and mm -hmm. this is why i was going crazy i was going nuts and mm -hmm. i was talking a lot and i was raising awareness about it as well because after i spoke about it i realized it's not happening to only me mm -hmm. it's happening to a whole lot of people mm -hmm. that are you know doing similar businesses or even doing any kind of business you know they wake up in the morning and they see this kind of thing you know so i had to talk about it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When is the country going to go further? Because all I'm doing is waking up, you know, going to work, taking mm -hmm. care of my family, paying my taxes, mm -hmm. you know, hiring people, paying salaries and that. Mm -hmm. And, and you if you don't want to see that happen, you know? Wow. Do you understand? Wow. <laughs> so that was what got me really, really hit it. And sister, if you see, I am crazy, mm -hmm. but it's only if you cross my line, you know? Um, so that was what uh, brought out the, the, the crazy part of me. You know, but other than that, I'm a very sweet, loving person. Mm -hmm. And if you're on my Snapchat, you know, I'm always preaching positive vibes, showing love and stuff like that. Yeah. If you're not crossing my walk, I'm a family. You're, you're good. good I girl. love you. Mm. Yes. Jetu has this thing with um, Gambian music. Yes. Um, I can proudly say, more the only club in the Gambia. We have Danganyo and Dunyabunya or Dunyarbe Chubi. We have a club in Jehna. 
Nu doe ik een playlist aan Vibes. Nou, it's the it's, highlights. It's the highlights. Yes. Mo, mo bokken is een playlist. Yes. And it's that club where you're gonna see the artist partying with you. Oh ja. Yeah. And you make them feel like stars. Yes. You treat them like stars. Because that is what they are, mm-hmm. sister. Mm-hmm. You know, we have gone past the era where, you know, they were like, hi, Gambian artist, you know, that boy. Mm-hmm. We have gone past that era. Like, mm-hmm. these people are dropping hits upon hits upon hits on a regular. You understand? Mm-hmm. People that are not familiar with Gambian music, they listen to this boy and our boy be fun of joking. Mm-hmm. You know? And I'm like, what do you mean? These are the boys that come and party with us on a regular. Yep. I understand yep. a lot of me. So, if these people are dropping hits, you know, and people are even outside of the Gambia appreciating their craft, mm-hmm. why not we celebrate them first? Why Absolutely. do we have to wait for Senegal or Europe to make them, mm-hmm. you know, verify them, mm-hmm. and you know, and then we start being, oh my God, no, it mm-hmm. starts from us. If um, the clubs are playing Beyonce here in Gambia, mm-hmm. I mean, I know it's a far-fetched comparison, but if the clubs are playing Beyonce right now in the Gambia, it's because they have bumped it in America for us. Yep. True. Understand? So how about we do that for our Jizzles, our Chanters, you know, uh, uh, Husseins, you know, and 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 the like, you know. Mm-hmm. So this mm-hmm. this is the only reason why, because I believe in building. Mm-hmm. And we have to build up with these artists. They cannot do it alone, and they work so hard, boy. Mm-hmm. They work so hard. They can't do it alone. The clubs play their part. The DJs play their part. You know, the the, the fans play their part. The promoters play their part. Let's all play our part, Rick. Like, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, you did Ice Carnival, uh, Ice One Year Anniversary Carnival. Yeah. And um, the highlight was Gambian artists again. Yes. Um, you could have made it a party, guy, new party and all, but Gambian artists get a highlight. Yep. Um, they don't guy because okay, to be honest, it's my guy, like, but that's very happy. <laughs> and um, just then, they the um, what was it called? The Wednesday, yeah, yeah, um, Afro Blast, Afro Wednesday, Blast Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be an artist, but yeah. at some point, I stop. Sister, it was too hard. Mm-hmm. The Afro Blast, I, you, you, you know, I told you about it. Mm-hmm. Um, there were artists where. I invite, I'm like, listen, um, this is what we want to do every mm-hmm. Wednesday, we invite you. You bring any number of people that you want to bring, you know, with your crew, you have free drinks from the club, we're not charging tickets, you know, let the, you know, fans come, familiarize mm-hmm. with your music and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Other artists, New Sony, they were like, you know what, let's do this, let's do this, when mm-hmm. you want us to come, da 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 mm-hmm. And it's a lot of artists you sound that agree to it. New <laughs> Toy, they were like, yeah, you know. Um, mine have to be different, you gotta charge tickets, and then I want a percentage. I'm like, bye. Mm-hmm. Yen and artists, you told yeah, I'm gonna come, but then last minute they don't show up. Bye. Yen and artists, why didn't you call me first? You know, so I was like, I can't do this. Smug <laughs> <laughs> idea, very, very complicated. <laughs> Yo, but you know, shout out to all the artists that came through, you know, and it had to stop after, um, after I think two months, how long? Mm-hmm. It had to stop after that, and I was so sad that it had to stop after mm-hmm. that because mm-hmm. I, after that, you know, there were so many upcoming artists that were so great that I mm-hmm. wish, you know. But then I just and couldn't deal with the stress. To be on, yeah, because it's the here's the thing. I was losing money every Wednesday night for the mm-hmm. artists, you mm-hmm. know, because I wasn't charging tickets. And if your fans are coming for you, shoot, let them come and buy their own drinks. That's fine. Your entourage, you and your whole entourage. Free. Doesn't matter if you're drinking or if you're not drinking alcohol. It's free for you. Whatever you take is on the house. You understand? Yep. And you know, now you want to come give me, hang on a minute, sound it, boy. <laughs> sound <You know>? it. <laughs> but yeah, um, this is the Ride Along show, and um, I'm here riding with the boss lady, um, Jatumbo. Check her out on uh, social media. Yes. Um, I have the That's the link names. right there. The boss lady on Instagram. Instagram, Snapchat. Don't forget my Snapchat. I Snapchat. love Snapchat, man. Don't mm-hmm. forget my Snapchat. That's lady, the lady, lady boss, boss. Lady, lady boss, boss zero zero one on Snapchat, mm-hmm. and I am the boss lady with three S's on mm-hmm. Instagram, mm-hmm. and I am JT Mo on Facebook. I have different names on different platforms. And on, Twitter. on Twitter, I am forever misjudged. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's been nice riding with you, um, despite the crazy traffic in Gambia. Now I'm gonna delay with traffic. I mean. You and your craziness. Don't get hulu traffic. Sometimes, but small hulu, we have civil motor villa there, you know. Yeah, don't let it. Don't let it. I'm not gonna get hulu out. Sometimes, sometimes, like, sometimes, uh. like, yeah. Uh.
situations mm-hmm. you know so santayala and um you know i just want to say to everybody that has been through it because of the pandemic because you lost someone because of you know anything you know you're strong just keep being strong mm-hmm. and god guide us all let's just keep working hard mm-hmm. what do you have to say to young um young women in the gambia aspiring to be successful and um make us in male dominated areas yeah I mean, not only see male-dominated areas, see any area of Montenegro. Mm-hmm. Giving up shouldn't be an option. Mm-hmm. You know, if plan A fails, there's plan A to Z. Mm-hmm. Just keep trying. You're going to get there. Because um, sometimes you don't know the struggle stories of the people that you look up to. Mm-hmm. You know, you only see them succeeding, mm-hmm. driving nice cars, you know, and doing stuff. You don't know what, what they have been through or what they're still going through to mm-hmm. be able to make it. If they tell you, you're going to mm-hmm. be like, wow, I haven't even started yet. So do not give up. Keep grinding, boy. Just, boy, be shameless with your grind. Be grinding anyhow. Be shameless yes. with your grind. <laughs> be shameless with it. You are grinding. Grind. Grind very hard. You know, no matter what what industry you're in, no matter what you're doing, you know, just keep working hard. Mm-hmm. And inshallah, God will reward you for your hard work. It's inshallah. not luck there. It's hard work. It's all hard work. Yes. You heard that from the boss lady, Jatumbo, and this is the Ride Along Show. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm your host, yours truly, Sister Nyai, and I know I've been an amazing driver. Take hello over the traffic. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Even though traffic be crazy, why hello over my cool and all. Try and um, yeah, shouts to um, everyone that's um, tuning in, watching the show right now. Everyone that watched the first episode, um, we saw your comments. Uh, we'll be working on these things, technicalities and everything, until we are completely strong. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click on the bell. Um, pull sa you video again, and you'll be the first to watch it. Also, I'm on Instagram, uh, Sister Jai, Facebook, Sister Jai, Twitter, Sister Jai. Funaga Sister Jai. That's so organized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Funaga Sister Jai. So let's keep let's keep interacting. Tell us who you want to see next on the Ride Along Show. It's been nice um, having you. Thank you, and I'll take you home now. Thank you so much.